Government shutdown continues. The supplemental nutrition program could be on the chopping block. Funding for food stamps expires at the end of October, so food pantries are preparing in case they need to pick up the slack. NBC 5's Roma Villavicencio joins us live. Roma? That's right, Natalie. Food stamps are being honored throughout the month of October, but November is up in the air right now. Tonight I spoke to a recipient who says without the food stamps, he'd likely be eating one meal a day. 24-year-old Jordan Marshall is a student and has a full-time job, but he still comes to First Presbyterian Church every couple of weeks for a free meal. And for his everyday meals, it's food stamps. It's absolutely vital, particularly for an area like ours and the economic situation that the Rogue Valley is in. But Marshall now faces losing that vital resource. Federal funding for food stamps expires October 31st, and if the government is still shut down, so will the program. Now food pantries are preparing for an influx when demand is already high. We're having to really be careful about how much uh, what we spend our money on at this point in time. So we're not sure what that means. We're trying to assess it at this point in time. Every week, 58,000 pounds of food are distributed throughout Jackson County from Access. Philip Yates is the head of the Access Food Pantry. He says the expiration date coincides with the holiday season, the pantry's busiest time of the year. As the years have gone by, food stamps haven't kept up with inflation. And consequently, uh, the cost of food has continued to increase. So the, uh, the, the time that people can make those last is only two or three weeks now. Jordan Marshall is grateful for what he can get now and says when it comes to the future of food stamps, he'll just have to wait and see. So if that's not there, you know, it starts to be choices. Do I buy books this term? Do I pay my tuition on time? Do I pay my electricity? Yates says monthly the pantry serves 11,000 individuals and 3,500 families. In the studio, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News. Back to you, Natalie. Roma, thanks. Death